The sun gold seas bank up and spill in leagues of ruffled daffodil, nor brine it seems, but woodland scent and kneels a lazy continent. The seagull scrawls across the sky the vivid patterns of her cry, and dipping swiftly, almost weaves an azure tracery of leaves. But matching ocean's floral guest at the earth's stable loveliness, spring sweeps the wood's cathedral nave with the green fury of a wave, till oak and elm and beech and ash in one viridian comber crash, while at their feet red vetches shine, sharp and cold and coralline. And thrushes in the forest ride flute echoes of the haunted tides, where mermaid birches, palely fair, comb the sea silver of their hair. For thus each spring a god creates the ancient world anew, and waits each spring in vain for men to know, if they would dare to dream it so. All things may change and shift and melt into the beauties they have felt, and keep the shapes the dream has lent by some immortal increment.